right there. So I'm gonna try to come around the top of him. Hopefully, he'll stay bedded in there. We can almost make him out, but we're gonna make a move quick. Sorry about the shaky camera, kind of hard to get adjusted.
still got his antlers. He's not moving. I think he just, he just went down. Oh. Well, it took me a little bit to get down there. The truck is up over there. Um, at least I got my orange. It's just, you gotta get to the top. I'm pretty sure I watched his horns fall. I've given him a little bit, and I'm just gonna make my way up slow. All right, I wanna talk about what I just did. So I was having a real issue finding out where he was bedded. Just, I was really struggling because I'm over here by myself and couldn't really quite figure it out. So I uh, went back to the tape and then picked things out. This was my shooting line from over there, um, and you can the, you can smell him like crazy in here. Are his tracks after he got up. Um, I'm being honest. I'm a little concerned. Not any blood yet, but I got a good set of tracks, so we're gonna track him down. All right. I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't seen it, but so I'm following these tracks right here. Just real heavy steps, and then look straight through that cedar. He's down. There we go. Oh man, I've been chasing elk out on this piece for a long time. Today I was finally able, I was the shooter, it's just me. I was actually glassing for mule deer with, with my bow and I picked this guy up with an antler sitting out. Oh man. Oh. This is great. This Cedar Hill country is just, just a love of mine. And to finally put down a, a decent bowl. Oh man, I'm stoked. This camera's about to die. So before I get to doing a whole lot else, I just kind of want to talk about how pumped I am about this, this bull. Um, great seconds, great fronts. He's young, would have probably grown quite a bit. I got to take your chances out here. Um, and how awesome it was to have that on footage so I could figure out exactly where I was at. I was having issues finding it and then I got to it and he, didn't hardly bleed at all. So just followed his, just his tracks as you saw in that video um, and followed him straight to where he just tumbled down the hill. So now the work starts, but I'm stoked. All right, guys, quick update here. I'm a, uh, Got one front quarter off, and then I decided to uh, go ahead and gut him to cool him down because I'm going to hike real quick. I can get cell service, I think, right up on the top over there. So I got them all opened up, cooling off. Um, I'm going to go call for help, drop a pin, 
and uh, come back and keep quartering out. I do, you know, you don't need to do both, but he's a younger bull. He's got a lot of fat on him. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure he eats real well. So, all right, time to keep at it. I'm gonna take a video real quick of exactly where I'm at. So I got a little bit better idea and then I'll hike out. Some damage. I've cut the rope so it breaks. I've got a lot of good friends keeping me distracted, keeping my sanity safe. Searching for a steady hand Here 